Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Scott Hennessy. Jurors in the Conception Boat Fire trial in Los Angeles Federal Court reached a verdict today. That fire killed 34 people and the jury found the captain guilty of a federal felony offense. As Tracy Lair reports, relatives of some of the victims, including the only crew member who died, heard the verdict in person. A federal jury in Los Angeles found Conception dive boat captain Jerry Nell Boylan guilty of Siemens manslaughter. They convicted him of criminal negligence in the 34 deaths under a pre-Civil War statute that holds captains responsible for maritime disasters. Relatives reacted this way outside of court. The verdict gives us a chance to slowly start to heal. Um, it will never bring her back, but it gives us a chance to heal. A guilty verdict, obviously we're pleased with it, but it doesn't bring her back, and it doesn't bring the other 33 back. It's a relief to know that not only is it guilty for us, but it also means the maritime laws will be upheld, and it's not a free-for-all for everyone. U.S. attorneys say the 69-year-old captain was the first to jump overboard. Their vessel, owned by Truth Aquatics out of Santa Barbara, caught fire off of Santa Cruz Island during a Labor Day weekend dive trip on September 2nd, 2019. He needs to accept responsibility for his role in this tragedy. 33 passengers and one crew member died. The captain and four crew members survived. The owner of a fishing boat named the Grape Escape brought them to the Channel Islands Harbor. Towboat U.S. towed what was left of the Conception back to shore. Investigators blame Boylan for failing to have a night watchman, an inadequate fire safety training, and the lack of a sufficient escape route. Boaters say new regulations will hopefully prevent something like this from happening ever again. Boylan now faces up to 10 years in prison. He is out on bond until his scheduled sentencing February 8th.